Bobby D here. Put together a video today about network marketing. Ooh, the taboo word. Now, about a 10 minute video. Who is this for and why did I make it? I'll start with why. I made this video because I, I, I kind of get tired, and maybe you do too, of people approaching you with this, hey Bob, check this out. Look at this. Over the last 20 years, I can't tell you, maybe two dozen, three dozen people have shown me opportunities that were the next greatest things. Only for me to find out, man, you just, you're missing this, you're missing that. And the other thing is, let me make this statement. I am not selling a book. I'm not selling videos. I'm not pointing you in a specific direction. You could use this video for any network marketing opportunity that, that you're into. If you're into one and you fit the seven bullet points that I'm going to share, if your company, if your opportunity covers these seven bullets or, or maybe five of the seven, then feel free to use this video. I'm not looking to make a dime off this video. I am looking to set the record straight, in my opinion. Now you say, Bob, who the hell are you? And I say, exactly. See, I'm Average Joe, or Average Bob. And guess who fills up network marketing companies more than anybody? Average Joes and Average Bobs. So when you're out there trying to lure the next person in, you better have something that lures average Bob in. And I believe I've got the seven points that you need to have in place to have a successful network marketing career. Now, I'm going to start with the product. Of course the product. I mean, I love these people that have this, the next greatest product or service. Oh, you got to see it. It's amazing. Well, yeah, well, who's talking about it? I don't want to hear you talk about it. Of course you think it's great. Of course, the people I'm going to the meeting listening to think it's great. Who else is talking about your stuff? Is there third-party stuff out there? Is your product unique? Does it make a difference? Listen, I think you have to have kind of like a crusade with your product or service. Now, I'm not, I'm not getting spiritual on you. I'm saying, does your product make a difference in somebody's life? You know, if you're selling light bulbs... And, you know, they're 10 cents less than Philips or, or GE. Is that making a difference? You know, now listen, you, you could have something. I, I'll get a little crazy here because I'm a little bit of a goofball. Maybe you got Preparation G instead of H. And maybe it does twice the job that Preparation H does. And if it's half the cost, then guess what? You could make a difference in somebody's life with that product. But don't come at me. Don't come at me with something that has no third-party credibility. Please, save it. If you've got a health product, I don't want to hear Dr. Doolittle's testimonial, Dr. Seuss's testimonial. Give me third-party stuff that's out there, stuff that's non-biased. It's number one. If your product or service is not great, can't be just good. If it's not great, wasting your time. Your company and leadership better be solid, too. Company and leadership better be solid. And this, this doesn't mean that the company's got to be 10, 15 years old. It could be a few years old. But take a look at the company, the leadership, and where they come from. They better, they better be solid. Number three, how about this one? Your local support. You could have a great product, great service, great company, great leadership. And your local guy who's running the show could be a jackass. Could be a, a, a guy that just can't get out of his own way. A guy that you would be so frightened, you'd be so afraid to put anybody in front of. Now you could still make it. You could still do it. Without having a local support guy, but guess what? It's going to be twice the work, maybe ten, maybe five, six, seven, ten times the work. If your local support isn't in place, it better be good. So that's three points. Number four, your presentation. How is the presentation? Is the presentation compelling? Or is it overhyped? Is it a Billy Mays? God rest his soul. Is it an uh, infomercial, you know, guy, you know, let's do that. How's the presentation? It better appeal to the masses. See, I, if I'm going to get involved in networking, I understand that if i got 10 people in a room, I want to appeal to all of them. I'm not looking for the superstar. I want everybody to take my product or service. Because I know, listen, we all, everybody, if you're in network marketing, you want to find superstars, but you got to go through normal people to find superstars, right? So if your presentation is good, if it's something that's compelling, because, see, most, listen, most people are going to quit network marketing. Most people are going to. If your presentation is good, it lures them in. If, if, it, if it's honest, if it's sincere, and if you've got a good product, good company, you may maintain these guys or gals. 
So one, two, three, four. Product, company, local support, and your presentation better be good. It better be appropriate for the times, your product or service. What do I mean? It, it better have a, a good outlet in social media venues. Right? Social media is, I mean, wake up. If your product or service is archaic, if it's not computer internet friendly, where are you going? Now, if you can't get on Facebook and talk about your product, if there's restrictions with your company, you're going you're gonna to have some trouble because everybody else is able to do that. If you can't get involved with Twitter and all the other the blogging, if you can't do stuff like that with your product or service, I would recommend not getting involved. So that's five bullets. Number six is getting involved simple. Is it simple? Now, remember, you're trying to attract average Bob. Right? You're not just trying to find a superstar. The superstar will, will run through hoops of fire to do something he sees that's compelling. Right, But you're trying to attract everyone to get involved, at least to try your product or service. So is it simple? Meaning, the, the, I mean, can you just, it, it, does it cost a lot of money to get involved? If it's four or $500 to get involved, I would question that. I would question it. Because... A lot of people are going to, you may have all those other points in play, but a lot of people may take a step back. They don't want to lay out that kind of money. And the last thing that's probably most important is it in your DNA. I love Gary Vaynerchuk. If you haven't read his book, Crush It, please. The, the thing is great. He talks about DNA in that book. If you're a 280-pound linebacker coming out of Penn State looking for a networking opportunity, I would recommend... That you don't get involved in selling makeup. I'm just saying. Just saying. You know, if that's not in your DNA. If the, the product should be in your mix. It should fit your personality. It should run parallel with your personality. And if it, all those bullets are in play, if those seven bullets are in play, you got a winner. Now, guess what? That doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Because network marketing is hard. Because you're going to have a ton of people resist you, even if all seven of those bullets are in play. If you've got five of those, I think you've got a good, good product and company. If you've got five of those bullets. And of course, listen, you want to talk to me? I'll give you what I believe are the most weighted. I believe the, the first one I just said to you, to me, is the most important product. Don't come at me with something that doesn't make a difference. I feel sorry. i got a couple of my buddies. Two of my buddies in particular got involved in, 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 a, in a company where their product is just ordinary. In fact, one of the products is less than ordinary. It's bad. You know, it's been getting some, some real bad third-party press. Uh, they're getting sued from a couple people, and I feel bad for this guy because he put everything he had into it. And I don't know how many chances you get to make a, make a first impression. When you sell out to a product or company, and then it lets you down, you're in trouble. Look for those seven bullets. Try and get all seven. If you've got them, run with it. You've got a good company. Give it your best. If you don't, six, five, okay. If you got four or if you got less than five, forget it. You're wasting your time. You're going to hurt yourself. And more importantly, your reputation is going to be shot forever. Bobby D, not just my name. It's what I do. Check it out.